It is a gorgeous spring day and we are at Troutdale Farm, which is a purveyor of some of the most amazing trout. And I cannot wait to get the tour from Dennis. One of the best ways to tour a trout farm is start at the source of the water. So does the spring have a name? Yes, it has multiple names. It's called the Collins Spring. Another name is the Big Spring at Gravois Mills. We just call it Troutdale. <laughs> Gorgeous. A big portion of the water comes up out of that triangle. Oh really? Oh yeah, you can see it kind of bubbling up. Yes. The water temperature is 56 degrees plus or minus about a half a degree year round. And so trout need cold water. Right. They need very fresh water. And they need clean water and a very high oxygen content relative for uh, fish. And so any opportunity that we can get water to splash around make a waterfall, we try to do that because that oxygenates the water. So how many trout are in these ponds right now? We're probably in excess of 100,000 fish. Seriously? Yes. Oh, wow. Can we go take a look at them? Oh, absolutely. So how do you harvest them? Do you just take a net and grab them? No, what we do is we call it corralling the fish. We use these uh, dividing gates and push the fish up so that they're, they're somewhat crowded. Mm -hmm. and then we have sorting boxes and it has a ruler in there and we actually measure each fish individually. If wow. it's too small, they go over on that side. If they're the right size, then they're collected. And well, I'll show you how we catch fish. I would love to see it. <laughs> okay, so you just dunk down. This is harder than it looks because they don't really want to be caught, do they? No. Oh. oh, you caught some. Oh! He's beautiful. That is a beautiful fish. So, um, how old are they when they're harvested? At least 14 months. Probably most of them are closer to a year and a half. Some of the ones that are easy to see are called golden rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. And it's a color variation of the rainbow trout. And they are bright yellow. Yes, and they reproduce true to color. Wow. Yes. Kind of. <laughs> so now I'm standing here with Merritt, and this is where all of the trout, once they're harvested, are processed. It's a light, bright, really beautiful room, and it's a little bit cool in here. And contrary to what people might think, there is absolutely no kind of a fishy smell. It's a very kind of a fresh aroma, almost like kind of being outside next to the, the spring itself. Mm -hmm. So the fish are weighed outside. Yes, the fish are weighed outside. That's an approximate weight so that we know what we're harvesting. Um, we count the fish, we know how many we bring in, approximately a hundred at a time. Wow. Um, and it takes us uh, just over an hour. This is a special cut fish. We have the head, the tail, and most of the fins, and it has been pin boned. This goes to a customer who wanted this particular fish to look like this. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're sending these to some of the best restaurants in Missouri. Well, we, we like to think so. We have to give all the kudos to the chefs because they, they have the job of creating something unique. So what is your favorite part? I've always enjoyed the filleting. I'm a hands-on person. I've trained everybody who has been filleted and they've always turned out to be better than I am, which <laughs> just absolutely drives me nuts. <laughs> not fast, you know, we don't grow fish quick, you know, we don't push the system a lot, mm -hmm. and so it, it takes us a while, and there are lots of issues to be dealt with in terms of Mother Nature, and we just take those one day at a time. Oh, know, and it works. And deal with whatever comes. Yeah. I mean, the, the resulting product is amazing. Mm -hmm. 